Raytheon's LIM-23 Hawk is one of the most widely used medium-range surface-to-air missile systems in history. Although it was initially developed during the Vietnam War era in the previous century, the Hawk is still actively utilized by more than 20 countries worldwide. In an effort to provide ongoing military support to Ukraine, both the United States and Spain have supplied several Hawk systems to help Kyiv defend against Putin's special military operation. The most recent variants of the Hawk missile boast a speed of Mach 2.7, a range of 31 miles, and are equipped with a high-explosive 165-pound warhead designed to annihilate Russian rotary and fixed-wing aircraft. Ultimately, the Raytheon MIM-23 Hawk missile system has stood the test of time, demonstrating its adaptability and effectiveness in various global conflicts, while its continued relevance and combat-proven capabilities still serve as a testament to its enduring legacy in the realm of air defense. Hawk Missile System The MIM-23 Hawk, an acronym for a homing all-the-way killer, was developed by Raytheon Company in the early 1950s. The first guided test launch of the missile took place in June of 1956 as part of a collaborative effort between Northrop, which developed the system's radar, launcher, and fire control systems, and Raytheon, which created the missile itself. Following the testing phase, the U.S. Army established the first Hawk unit, deploying the base variant MIM-23A. The Marine Corps followed suit in 1960 after a NATO memorandum signed between the U.S., Germany, Belgium, Italy, France, and the Netherlands agreed to co-produce the Hawk for deployment in Europe. Other allied nations, such as Spain, Denmark, South Korea, and Japan, received Hawks in the 1960s, and a decade later, the U.S. Army launched a product improvement plan to upgrade the Hawk with more advanced features. Phase 1 spanned from 1979 to 1981, Phase 2 from 1983 to 1986, and Phase 3 from 1983 to 1989. Each phase involved upgrading several components of the Hawk system, ensuring it remained up to date with the latest air weapon systems. Hawk Components A standard Hawk battery consists of several components, including pulse acquisition radar, range-only radar, information coordination central, battery control central, assault fire command console, platoon command post, launcher section controls, launcher platform, missile transport pallets and loading tractors, and the generators. The Phase 3 Hawk significantly reduced the number of components needed for a successful missile launch, which also varied based on the type of warhead carried. The missile features a cylindrical body with four long clip delta wings, each equipped with a trailing edge control surface. Measuring over 17 feet in length, with a diameter of 1.3 feet and a wingspan of 4 feet, the Hawk has an approximate weight of 1,290 pounds. Propelled by a dual-thrust motor with a boost and sustained phase, the MIM-23A variant has a minimum engagement range of 1.2 miles, a minimum altitude of 200 feet, and a maximum engagement range and altitude of 16 miles and 36,000 feet. The MIM-23B missile boasts enhanced range, speed, and firepower, carrying a 75-kilogram high-explosive warhead. Around the world, the U.S. Army had planned to deploy over 300 Hawk missiles during the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962, but the de-escalation prevented further tensions with the Soviet Union and Cuba. Months after deploying U.S. ground troops in Vietnam, the Marine Corps installed several Hawk systems in March of 1965 at Hill 327 and Da Nang to counter North Vietnamese air attacks. That same month, the Israeli Defense Forces deployed the first Hawk unit to fight the rising threats against its neighbors. In 1967, an Israeli Hawk missile shot down a friendly aircraft that was about to crash into the Negev Nuclear Research Center. Two years later, American and Israeli Hawks downed additional aircraft over the skies of Vietnam and Palestine. During the Iran-Iraq War of 1980-88, Iranian Hawk systems shot down over 40 Iraqi warplanes. Then in 1990, Hawk missiles intercepted more Soviet MiG aircraft that had entered Kuwaiti airspace as part of Iraq's aggressive Middle East conquests. Today, more than 15 countries continue to employ the Hawk missile system, and Spain recently announced its intention to keep its Hawks in service for at least another 10 years.
Ukraine's support. In February of 2022, President Vladimir Putin launched his special military operation against Ukraine after the amassing of thousands of troops along the border for several months. Since then, NATO and the United States have consistently increased humanitarian and military aid to the Ukrainian government, providing both lethal and non-lethal equipment as time progressed. In October of 2022, two senior American officers told Reuters that the Department of Defense was considering the deployment of stored Hawk air defense equipment to Ukraine. The move aimed to bolster the country's defense against Russian drone and cruise missile attacks, and this news followed NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg's announcement that the Spanish Army would donate four Hawk anti-aircraft missile systems. The Hawks donated by Spain are the MIM-23B variant, which has a minimum engagement range of over 1.5 kilometers and an altitude of 60 meters, a maximum engagement range of 35 kilometers, and a maximum altitude of almost 20,000 meters. Moreover, the 75-kilogram warhead contains a high explosive, capable of eliminating most Russian air assets in its arsenal. Stingers and Deliveries President Joe Biden's decision to support Ukraine with the Hawk missile system will significantly enhance the air defenses of the Eastern European nation's military. The Ukrainian army has been warding off Russian air attacks using the Stinger missile system donated by the American military. This type provides a shorter defensive range compared to the Hawk, but the Ukrainians have managed to mount a strong counteroffensive against Russia despite their limited assets. Utilizing the Presidential Drawdown Authority, the U.S. military is expected to transfer Hawk missiles without the need for congressional approval. And although the Department of Defense has not specified the number of Hawks to be sent to Ukraine, President Biden pledged that the U.S. would supply more advanced air defense systems to help counter Russian aggression. Upgraded Air Defenses In an interview with Newsweek, Tom Carrado, director of the Missile Defense Project at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, expressed his view that the Hawk system does not constitute a significant upgrade to the Stinger missiles. Carrado noted that despite the increased range and warhead firepower, the Hawks will not aid Ukraine in neutralizing the latest Russian weapons. The expert explained that the Hawks would undoubtedly prove useful against some fixed and rotary wing aircraft, but not all of them, concluding by saying that, quote, the real takeaway is it shows the United States really is scrounging whatever capability we can prudently provide to Ukraine, even if it's older and limited. Nevertheless, it can have a deterrent effect for Russian aircraft, if nothing else. Another specialist, Gabriela Rosa Hernandez from the Arms Control Association, told Newsweek that this system would undoubtedly aid Ukraine in withstanding missile attacks, while also allowing them to target low-flying objects with great accuracy, adding that the key concern is the speed at which the U.S. government can deliver the system to Ukraine and how quickly the Ukrainians can be trained to operate and maintain it. As of November 2022, the U.S. has provided Kyiv with over $17 billion worth of military and humanitarian assistance. Thank you for watching my video. We invite you to join the Dark Tech community and explore the rest of our fascinating Dark Documentaries channels, where we delve into the complexities of modern armed conflicts and the ongoing global arms race. Don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to stay up to date with our latest content.